This video is to show you the new shapes effect. Uh, so if we come down here, select on shapes, bring it across, Let's make it a bit bigger. Basically by default uh, you, there is lots of settings here. The shapes uh, effect is based on uh, SVG graphics, so uh, scalable vector graphics. Um, so basically uh, when you scale the, the images or the, the shapes, they're, they're perfectly uh, scaled. Um, so if we look at that now, if I just hit play, see I've just got some square boxes moving around. And it's as per your settings here. So at the top it's got uh, the wrap effect, so the boxes were wrapping around the, the matrix. Uh, the geometric shape I've got square uh, with no fading. Um, you can change size, size variation, uh, the counts of the number of the boxes, uh, size change, angle, random angles, random sizes, fill boxes, so you can put a fill colour in each of the boxes. Uh, so if we just have a look at some of the, the shapes, if we just click on that, these are all the geometric shapes, so you've got arrow, circle, you know, cross, ellipse. Now once you select one of those, each one uh, may be customizable as well, so if you look at the ellipse, um, then we go down to the, the shape settings down the bottom here. Uh, you got the size ratio. So at the moment, if we have a look at that, you'll see that um, at the moment the, the the height is half the width. All right, set to 50%. So obviously, if we put that up to 100%, you know, we get a circle. You know, if you drop it down to you know, something lower, obviously get a nice thin one. So there's various things you can do there. Um, same with most of these uh, polygon you can actually down here select the number of sides of the polygon you know, nine sides it's starting to look like a circle but you, know, you go down to five or if you want to you, you can even create a square from the polygon um, other ones you got uh, a few different stars here so you got a, a normal star where you can change the number of star points uh, star skip points, that's just the way that it's drawn um, whereas a, a non-intersecting star is a, a different way the actual star is drawn so, and you can change the star points there and also the, the radius of the, the inner circle so if we increase that you'll see that the, the radius inside increases um, now I've whacked a north star in there uh, that's a bit small there if we just change the, the size of that I'll just turn uh, wrap off. You've got bounce as well, where it bounces off the sides of the matrix and back on. Just change that to none, so it just sits in the spot. Obviously, it's rotating angle there. You've got random angle, uh, so you can turn that off. And then if you scroll down, it's based on the angle you select here. So you know you can play around with that a bit and make it you know, go back and forth. Um, and then also, you've also got the the size speed here as well. Um, So if we go back here, obviously triangle, we've got a heart shape. Um, what else we got? Well, you can also select random. So if you select random, obviously if there's three shapes, it'll just randomly select between the shapes. Um, I'll just put that back on. Just have it rotating around. Alright, uh, so if now move on, you've got geometric shapes, and you've also got Christmas shapes. So if we have a look there, you've obviously got the basic snowman. You've got quite a number of embedded shapes there, gingerbread man. Um, now as it is now, there's no fill colour, so it's basically just the, the outline, it shows the outline of the shapes. If we set the fill colour, it'll then um, colour that image. Now the beauty of this is is that with all the embedded ones you can have um, up to two sets of colours. So if you scroll down you've got a fill colour one and a fill colour two. So obviously with the gingerbread man, uh, the fill colour one is the blue area. So you know you can apply a grade into that. Or if we just change that to say red, change the internal colour to red. Um, and that's the, the feet and hands. And that's the same with um, all of the effects. So we go to snowman, 
as you can see red and green so once again you can come down change that color to to a snowman color so there's uh, lots of different variations there that you can do with the, the coloring of the effect um, and that goes the same with obviously the geometric ones the geometric ones just have the single color and so you've only got the single selection there but you've also got the border color or the outline color you can change um, We've also got some Halloween shapes in here. So there's a number there, skull, hand, um, and once again, you can change those colours, fill colour one and fill colour two. Uh, once again, you can select random. And last of all is you've got uh, a file. So that's um, in here. You just click on that and you just grab um, an SVG file and. Um, you, you lose a, a few more settings you won't have uh, the color settings only the outline of an SVG file because usually that would already have its own colored image or whatever so it just displays that um, you know, from here if you say you want to pick uh, cross um, and we do scale to grid now so that'll scale it to, to your grid uh, outline thickness, so you can actually change the, the outline thickness to what you want as well. Uh, rounded corners, basically that only works well when you've got um, a thicker border, as you can see there, it's rounded those corners there. Um, zero, obviously no border at all if you wanted to get rid of that. Now if I just go back to unfill it, uh, and I'll just take it off um, scale to grid, so we're back to a number of shapes. If I'll just change that to wrap around, you'll notice when it crosses over another one that you can see through it. All right. um, obviously ways around, if you didn't want to see through it, but you still want it obviously to be black, then obviously what you do is you do a fill colour and obviously just change your fill colour to black and now when they cross over you won't be able to see through them they're like on top of each other um, I'll just turn wrap off again so you can see down there now if um, this outline dash length and spacing this is your, your outline here I'll just make this a little bit bigger. So if I drop, so I drop this down to the line length, all right, you'll start to see see gaps there. So if you increase the actual spacing, how many pixels, you then get some spacing happening, like dotted line as the outline. So there's a, a few things you can change there as well. Uh, with the cross size, you've also got a cross size ratio. So you can make the cross and shape. Um, Alright, now we're going to the fading, just to say we did a, a fill colour. Now we wanted to fade in. Um, so there you can see there it's just fading in to each of the shapes. And we fade out, or you can obviously select random and it reaches randomly between each shape, decides whether to go in or out. Um, it starts to work best when um, you do size change so if you click on size change it does automatic size changes like this and um, therefore it's fading in it's fading in while the size is coming out so you can do size in so that gets from big to small and obviously you know you can change your fading multiple fades um, once again obviously with these curves you can increase the count and decrease the count All right, so there's quite a bit there you can do. Uh, um, what else? Uh, I guess last of all, we could do a uh, shape source. Uh, this basically, uh, with the new effect, it incorporates the, the new mark collection as well. So you can click on here, you can, you can create shapes uh, based off the, the marks within a mark collection, or you can actually remove shapes. So if you do create shapes, uh, you, s you select your mark collection, so default marks. So I've got a few marks set up here. Here's my effect starting there and ending there. Um, 
and basically each mark here will create a create a shape. <coughs> so if we just um, say we just make this easier, just change movement to none, change the size. Right, as you can see, there is each. There's obviously quite a few marks I've just whacked in there. So we get rid of some. But as you can see, it's creating the effects as it hits the marks. Uh, and same with the removing effects. With the remove the effects, you start off with a, a count, and as it hit each mark, it removes the effect. Alright, so it starts with lots, it starts removing it. So I'll just go back to create the effect. I'll just turn off the preview. Just come over here, I'll just hit play so you can hear the music and hit the beat, it'll remove it. As you can see, it was creating the shapes you know, to the beat or to whenever you want the shapes created. And that's about it. It obviously also works uh, in location as well. Right, so you can use it across you know, multiple matrices or across your display. And that's about it. Thanks very much.